good morning everybody it's Jonathan Harmon with the Jay Harmon home team powered by Keller Williams with three lovely ladies from Sima the Smyrna Independent Merchants Association uh, obviously located here in Smyrna we're sitting at the fantastic Carpe Cafe one of my favorite places in the whole wide world and uh, I've got black coffee and you've got a cookie butter <laughs> Wow that sounds amazing so um, anyway I opted for black coffee um, I, I guess I'm sweet enough already, huh? yeah. right? I don't know. Something like that. Um, and I've got uh, Elizabeth, or how do you say it? Arias, okay? And I've got Vanessa Johnson. Haley. Haley, Johnson Haley. You told me that and I yeah. messed it up. <laughs> Vanessa <laughs> Haley. <laughs> I know, I was trying to find her. And, and so anyway, I got all these last names. And uh, Lizzie Alignamath. Yes. Yes, got it. Perfect. I've, I've only practiced it once. <laughs> right on. Um, and uh, so tell me what y'all's roles are in the organization. Okay, Lizzie, you want me to start? Okay, sure. Um, so I'm the operations director for SIMA, and I kind of do whatever is needed, really. <laughs> My responsibilities kind of vary. Um, and so, yeah. She, what Lizzie you? keeps up with membership. Yeah. Um, she's the direct point of contact. Um, make sure that all of our day-to-day -day operations get taken care of. Lizzie's the only full-time SIMA employee. Correct, yes. Okay. She's the only paid employee for SIMA, period. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. So, and then, um, and of course, my role is um, president of SIMA, so I try to keep our Motley crew in bunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all going forward in the same direction. Um, but, you know, generally, I just kind of keep up with what Lizzie's doing, um, make sure that if like if there's something going on that she's needing extra help with, I'm always an immediate point of contact for her. Um, try to, um, we all try to take turns going to different events and sometimes there might be two or three of us, sometimes we can all go, but we all try to, you know, break that down so that we can get to different openings and special events that our local businesses are having so that we can help promote that. So I, I'm brand new to the organization. I joined, I've been to one meeting so right. far. And, uh, and and this just question just occurred to me. So are you elected out of the membership or are you a appointed job? And is it does it change every year or well, what's the deal actually, there? Well, actually, I'm elected from the board of directors uh -huh. that are I'm within SIMA now. Um, I've tried to give it away several times, but <laughs> apparently no one else wants to do it. I see. So... Um, so, that means I, you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> um, but it's, um, it, you know, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And, of course, I truly believe in the vision of SIMA and in pushing shopping local and, and being all about the mission. Sure. Absolutely. All right, Elizabeth? Um, I am the intern for SIMA. I am helping Lizzie and everybody else with depot days and anything else that I can possibly help with. Gotcha. And you heard depot days, so... Hold that thought for a minute. We're going to talk about that a lot. So, SIMA exists basically to it's 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 a, a it's a group of local businesses, right, uh, in Smyrna specifically, and the whole point is to kind of build each other up and partner up with each other to, in order to promote overall local business, local economy. Is that is that pretty accurate? Correct. Yes. Okay. And how many businesses are in SIMA now? Let's say there's about a hundred. It's a little yeah, over a hundred. Okay, okay. Just a little, okay. Over. Just a little over a hundred businesses, yeah. and it, you know, it's interesting. I grew up in Smyrna. We moved here when I was five, so I mean, this is home, you know. And uh, and it, it's interesting to think about little old Smyrna having a hundred businesses, let alone a hundred local businesses, mm -hmm. in addition to the the local businesses that are not part of Sima, and then the big businesses that are also not part of Simon. Mm -hmm. And of like, course we've just scratched the surface of the local business. I, that's what I'm There's saying. So many more out there. Yeah, it, it's amazing. And so um, the other thing to think about, and, and this is this is a, I don't know, misconception maybe or omission, I'm not sure. Local business does not have to be someone sitting in a brick, literal brick and mortar location. So a lot of the businesses are service oriented, uh, lawn mowing companies, things like that. Is that accurate? Um, I, I would say we probably split down the middle with that, mm -hmm. um, but you absolutely do not have to have a brick and mortar business as long as you are a legal business within Smyrna. It can be out of your home or it can be an online type of business. Um, so yes, that's absolutely correct. And the key here is that they, that the businesses, the, the membership is, di is directly involved in the town of Smyrna. It is placed here. I mean, this is where they do business. Mm -hmm. 
um, and and they support each other. Correct. Right. I mean, that's that's it's it's a buddy system, yes. so to speak. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, all right. So let's talk about why you think that's important. Right. Why why is it important for local business to support each other? Um, Liz, do you want to answer that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So um, if, if you shop local, more of your money stays in the community, and so that, and it helps keep property taxes lower. Um, the you might see the big 68% stickers. That's the right number, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You yes. might see the big 68% stickers on people's cars. And I've that seen sort of those. Thing. What is yeah. that? So that just means that 68% of every dollar spent at a local business stays in the community. Um, now, if you Pay, or if you buy anything on Amazon or any you know big like local thing like that uh, or big not local but big business like that that's not local like none of that stays in the community so it's important to shop local because you're supporting those business owners that also are you know Smyrna community member uh, citizens so, but also so let's unpack that for a second mm -hmm. okay so when you say that 68 percent of it stays in the community right so let's let's take a for example okay so we're sitting here at Carpe Cafe again one of my favorite places in the whole wide world uh, Ron and Susie, everybody here is awesome, right? I bought a cup of coffee, okay? It was $2 and whatever cents. Let's say it was a buck, right? So 68 cents of that dollar stays in this community. How do you, how do you arrive at that 68%? Well, the breakdown on that actually comes from the local businesses are employing local people. Right. Whom they're paying to be part of their business. Sure. So they're paying them, so that money stays in the community as well to help our fellow um, community. Right. Then you have business taxes that are being paid, which are being paid locally into the community. And then, of course, your sales taxes that are being paid are staying within Smyrna as well. Right. Property taxes, any taxes that are paid. Correct. And, and then, let's extend that even further, any of the profit that goes back into that business owner's pocket, theoretically, they're gonna turn around, and especially if they're Simon members, they're gonna to want to try to, to support the other local businesses, right. right? So they're spending local as well. Right, so when and they buy a belt, they're not gonna to go to Walmart, they're gonna to go to Buckle and Hyde, right? right? Yes. And, uh, okay, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you know, we downplay that out of, out of convenience, I think. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's so easy to go on Amazon and find whatever it is that you're looking for, right? And have it shipped. Immediately. Shows up the next day or two days later, whatever, it's on your doorstep, the end, right? And it's so easy to do that. And and I would say that there's enough room for all of that, right? True, true, true. Um, we don't we don't want to tell anyone, don't ever shop at any of these places. There, there are times whenever you can't find what you're looking for and you might have to go to one of the big box stores or go to Amazon or you know go outside of the community and we understand that totally but if you can just shift to where your first thought is to shop that's local, the key mm -hmm. yep and then because we, we want everyone to succeed it's it's not even about shutting out the big box or anything of that nature we can all work together within a certain level of harmony we just want to shift the first thought yes yep. the perspective yeah. that's exactly right yeah. and, and and that's kind of what I was getting at is you know, if, if I need a hammer, right, is my first thought I need to go to Lowe's or is it that I need to go to Gills Ace Hardware, yes. yeah. right? And I love Jenny, so my first thought is go let's go to Gills Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, if I'm on the south side of Rutherford County, that's probably not where I'm going to go right. if I need the hammer there. But the, the point that you're making is, and maybe th that thought is, oh, man, I wish I was in Smyrna. You know, and I go see Jenny real quick. But if you're in the south side of Rutherford County and your first thought is to shop local, if you're on your way to pick something up and you see a local hardware That's store, That's right, and there's lots of them. You'll shop there first, mm -hmm. which is which is overall what we're really targeting to. That's right. And, I, you know, I've said this on numerous occasions. There's, um, there's a uh, pretty much, not pretty much, I, I mean, I'm trying to think if there's even any exceptions. Everybody that I have on Coffee Talk are either local figures, right, whether they're politicians or philanthropists or whatever, or they're local business owners. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's, it's almost cliche to say that local business is the fabric of the community, but it really is. 
I mean, it really well, you is. You stop and think about, you know, just like you were saying, whenever a business makes money and they generally in turn will go and spend that, say they're looking for a belt and they're going to another business, another local business to purchase, mm -hmm. they're also the ones who are giving back to the local community That's right. in funding the sports and your local team. Booths at Depot Days. Uh, booths at Depot Days. Preview. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, so they're, they're turning around. Most of your large big box stores are not giving to your cheerleaders that are raising money to, you know, to go to camp or to go to cheer camp or whatnot. Well, um, their hands are tied a lot exactly. of times. Yeah. You have oh, to, you have to apply so and you got to, yes. exactly, yeah. Yeah, when you walk into a local business, they're the ones who are directly answering that question yeah. for you. That's and right. they know they can, they can do it right then. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. And, and I, I try to approach, especially my business, and, and really just business in general, with that abundance mentality, right? So there is room for everybody, right? And especially in a town of over 50,000 people, uh, there's room. Um, but I, I like the idea of first thought, right? Like, where does that first thought go, that first consideration? Yeah, that's good. Cool. All right, so let's see. Let's talk about depot days. So I guess you, but you really all of us Vanessa yeah, has plenty you, of experience yeah, yeah. Too, so. so let's talk about depot days yeah so it's always the last weekend of september so it is the september 27th and 28th this year it's a friday night and then an all-day saturday thing mm -hmm. um i want to say this past year was our biggest year that we've had right so we have about eight thousand people come through give or take at least at least eight thousand people wow. on that saturday come through right down here on Fresh and it's, Street. I was going to say, we're, we're sitting in the depot district right now. Mm -hmm. And so look around. That's where the 8,000 people are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yep. so definitely expecting probably between eight to 10,000 this year yeah, too. So uh, we typically have over 100 booths, um, 120. Generally over 100. I think last year we ended up with about 122, 123. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different vendor booths. And so wow. um, it's great exposure for anybody that has a booth because so many thousands of people are coming through that whole day. Um, we still have plenty of space for this year. So um, there's still time to register and our early bird rate goes till the end of July. So. Okay. And so how much is it for for a business to have a booth? Yeah, so we have two different spot options. We have a 10 by 10 that's 125 or a 10 by 20 that is 150. Um, and then those will each go up $25 after the early bird uh, deadline, which is July 31st. Um, and then we have the add-on for electricity as well if that's needed. Okay. Booth, so. And what kind of stipulations do you put on who can have a booth? Um, I really, the only, the biggest stipulation is just like uh, multi-level marketing companies. We can only take the, like one of, from each company. So it's kind of first come, first serve when it comes to those. Um, but I mean, are there any other big stipulations that you can think of? Or? Um, well, the only other one is that we don't allow political booths mm -hmm. um, during, during depot days. But that's the only other yeah. one. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And what, what is the... I hate to say it this way, but I don't know how else to say it. What's the point of Depot Days? Depot Days is actually um, Sima's largest fundraiser. That's how we create our operating budget for the year. Mm -hmm. So whatever we make from Depot Days is how we operate and pay Lizzie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and to make sure that Sima continues running smoothly within the community. Um, of course, we also do have member fees and, and things of that nature too, but overall, that's where our budget comes into play. Um, plus, it also creates opportunity for you to be able to get in front of 8,000 people in the local community to display and show off what your business has to offer. Mm -hmm. Sell well, things, people sell things. Yeah. Let's, um, let me back up with that question. So a little bit of history, right? We got this, this little brick building over here uh, that is the old Smyrna Depot. And for years and years and years and years, it was in terrible condition. Um, and town of Smyrna decided, hey, we've got this cool old brick building that's kind of historical and it's kind of tied to our community. You know, I downplay the word kind of, like <laughs> truly, <laughs> truly tied to is. our community. I mean, it was what Smyrna was, right. you know? It was a stop on, a, the, on the railroad. It was of creating Smyrna because yeah. it was a stop in between. Yep, that's right. And so the town decided to restore the building um, and did that. It took a, a little bit of time. They restored it. It's now a, a, an event space, if you will. Uh, you can rent it through the town of Smyrna. Um, and I guess Simon said, 
hey, if that's what we're going to kind of use as part of Smyrna's identity, why don't we celebrate that with a festival downtown in the depot district, which is what this has kind of been dubbed, um, and we'll call it Depot Days, right? And so in doing so, you guys have said, hey, everybody come down and celebrate with us. Right. And the response has been astounding. So how many years is this one? Do you know? This will be 13. Oh, okay. That sounds about right. Yes, I'm on the, yes, this is the 13th, yes. That's incredible. Sorry. And you're at, you're at almost 10,000 people that show up uh, to celebrate Smyrna, yeah. basically. And uh, to, to visit the local businesses, the booths and the things like that. I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be food trucks and all oh, of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's on Friday days. night? Let's talk about that, because that's the fun day. Friday night, and I wanna make sure too that we clarify this. On Friday night, generally, the Parks Department um, has more control over that. Of course, we work right. in conjunction with them, um, but they actually have the cruise in car show. Um, we have, of course, all kinds of great local older cars coming through. They always have a great band going. There's food trucks. Sima has their beer garden. We generally have someone, um, most of the time, it's Smyrna's Divine has um, wine tasting in the depot. There's generally some music going on in there. So it's just, it's great, you know, especially if you've got somebody who enjoys the older cars and or, or even just wants to come out and listen to the music and mingle around and see people that you might not have run into in a while. Sure, absolutely. And then Friday, I'm sorry, Saturday, all day long, right? It's from 10, 10 to 4. 10 to 4, okay. Uh, so during the hottest part of the day, no resentment there. Um, anyway, but it's the end of September. Yeah, so it's, uh, the weather's always hit or miss. It, 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 it could be, yeah. it could be literally anything, yeah. right? <laughs> it's always a surprise. Yeah. So bring a jacket, shorts, a raincoat. Um, yeah. yeah. Layer. Uh, sunscreen. Yeah. yeah all yeah. of the above, right? <laughs> a towel to dry yourself everything, off. Everything, literally. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Um, so we, we show up, we set up booths, you know, people come around, there's food trucks, there's usually like inflatable stuff. Is that, mm -hmm. is that yes. right for the kids? Live music that day as well. Live That's music. I know Carpe usually puts on some stuff down kind of on this end. Right, right. They usually have some stuff going on with the stage here. And they have like a little artist enclave, right? There is an artisan zone that they take care of. We actually have a link for their artisan zone with our registration link as well. So you can get to it very easily on the sign up um, website. Um, let's say we have bounce houses, artisan zone, music, food, um, food. Of course, all of the vendors. The fire uh, truck. The fire truck. The smokehouse is um, usually here, and of course, one of the large fire trucks. The the town is always great um, yeah. to come out and help. And of course, the police officers that are out throughout the event helping control traffic and direct and all of that. It's, we, we have a, a great response. Anyway. Well, and you know, it's neat. Uh, you mentioned uh, police officers. I, I'm pretty involved with our police department here. My parents are very involved with the police department here through the uh, Citizens Police Academy. And we have a fantastic group of public servants in our police and fire departments and in our EMS services. I don't, I don't know if you guys really know a lot of them. Um, a good handful, probably not as many as we need to. But man, yes. I mean, we've just got a really quality group of servants. And, um, and it, you know, I was at the Simply Smyrna event. I was right next to you guys' beer garden, which was a fantastic location for me, <laughs> by the way. And, um, you know, just there were numerous officers that were just walking around, talking to people, shaking hands, you know, high-fiving kids, stuff like that. And, you know, you see some of the, the crazy stuff that goes on in our world, and you just, you just say, you know what, I feel pretty good about, about so where I am. That they're able to walk around and do that. And, and especially with children, too, to give them an opportunity to see them outside of them having to do the negative parts of their job. That's right. To just be able to walk around. And, and well, and even the chief was here, you know, and he was walking around and, and doing the same. And, and it, you know, it does stem from the top. And he's very much a community-oriented, um, we're going to lead by example mm -hmm. kind of guy. So shout out to... to the chief there love yeah. him so um all right any uh anything else that you guys want to tell us about sima okay. well just after after depot days is over with then we'll start kind of gearing up for i guess late in the year early january we'll start getting ready for the light of local awards again but um but Which other than that, that Tell me, well, tell me about Light Up Local. This, I think this happened right as I was joining. It did. So. Um, that was that we generally, we work actually with locally owned Murfreesboro. 
um, to put that on and of course it highlights locally owned businesses in Murfreesboro and in Smyrna to um, just for for their people well for the their customers and clients to go in and actually vote for them um, it can only be local you, you can't be a large business um, and, and it just highlights what they do for the community the ones that go above and beyond that people just just really want to be able to say hey come to this event we want to celebrate you and show you our appreciation for what you do right on okay very cool all right so uh, last couple things we're going to put in the comments. Um, if somebody's interested in joining SIMA, uh, let's start with that. How, who would they need to contact? They can go on our website to uh, it's SIMATN.org, mm -hmm. um, and there is a little tab that is all about membership, and it has our different levels and describes what those are, and you can register on there on that way. Okay, and we'll put that link in the comments. Mm -hmm. And if they're interested in Depot Days, yes. same website, yeah, different so tab. The, the dangers of doing this on a phone, you get phone calls. Um, so um, what we were talking about is the spotlight. Um, so in addition to SIMATN.org, mm -hmm. right, you need to check out the SIMA Facebook page. And what is it that you're doing on there? So I am talking to the different um, businesses that we have with SIMA and kind of interviewing them, getting to know where they came from, why they do what they do, and just anything that they want the community to know more about them. Mm -hmm. um, they get, we'll post a whole week just about them. Um, it's two posts today, and it's just kind of getting their name out just a little bit more on a different level and more people. It's awesome. So if you haven't seen that, definitely get on the SIMA Facebook page, which I've tagged in our little, whatever you call it, the description or whatever for this video. Um, and check that out. You can go back and kind of read some of the, the other businesses that have been uh, done. And uh, I'll tell you what, you, you learn some pretty interesting stuff. And small business is about relationship and it's about connecting to someone, right? And the best way to do that is to find out about stuff other than, hey, we sell blank, right? So. Yeah, and that's a perk for our members. You know, we, we, that's not something they pay for. Right. Right. That's, yeah. yeah. Right. And that's, that's part of the mission, isn't it? I mean, ultimately. Yeah, just driving people, getting their name out there, and, and driving people to their businesses. So. Yep. Love it. And I did want to say also, too, in case you happen to um, have trouble remembering how to get to the website or the SIMATN.org doesn't come to you, you can always type in lovesmyrna.com and it will automatically take you to the business directory on there. So if you're really trying to start shopping local but don't know where to begin, that's a good starting point. Gotcha. Um, and you can just plug that in and it'll give you um, separated business listings and, and let you know where to start. And that's love smyrna.com okay we'll put that link in the comments too so ladies thank you so much it's been a pleasure and uh, I'm happy I'm excited and kind of honored to be part of the organization and uh, and I appreciate what you guys are doing to promote local business so thank you